Hello friends, I am Prabhat Sharma and today we will learn about real-time alerts. We will specifically learn how to send real alerts in real-time whenever something appears in your log messages. For example, let's take a look. We have severity, host and description here. So whenever severity is info, you do not want to be notified. However, when severity is critical, you want to be notified. Okay. So how do we achieve that? Let's take a look at our uh, some sample logs that we have. Here is one sample log entry. Uh, something normal happened. Severity equals info. And then we also have something critical happen. Let's call it. Okay. We have uh, an entry that we can send and uh, whenever some log entry that comes with the severity equals critical we should be notified so let's go ahead and create an alert okay. uh, let's go to real time since we want to cover real time alerts this time real time critical re real time critical real time critical okay and stream type is logs default one and we want it based on the severity so severity is critical silence notification is that for 10 minutes uh, so whenever say you keep getting a lot of uh, uh, logs for severity critical you do not want to be notified for all of them for this particular alert say, say if you got one alert the next minute because the uh, issue still persists, we'll, you'll keep getting alerts. So you do not really want that. So let us set it to zero. Uh, so you can set it to 10 minutes. So for 10 minutes, you'll not get any, any more alerts uh, if some, if for the same alert. You'll not get any notification for the same alert. Okay. Uh, but since we are testing, we'll set it to zero because we want to be notified. And O2. O2 one essentially it's a Slack channel that we, I have set up. If you want to learn how to set up destinations, there is a separate video around that. You can go and check it out. Uh, and that is all there is to it. We'll just save it. And we are ready. Let's go and send this log. And I've quickly I have created this one quick shell script to send the log. Okay. And I'll run this. It will essentially take this particular JSON and send it. So right now, if you look at logs, okay, they have just one log line. Let's go ahead and run this. It succeeded. Okay, we should check. We have one critical log line. We can go ahead and check real time alert is active with just 440. 440 is, is right now. Okay, so we just got one alert. Let's try doing one more just to be sure that we are actually receiving alerts okay 441 we got one more active okay uh, let's do something let's go to alerts let's go to the templates let's go to the modify one uh, alert one is active alert name and let's say for org name is active org name and stream name is active we'll save this okay and let's try to send a critical alert once again did we get something yes real time critical alert for default org and default one stream let's make it a little more for default org and stream is active okay let's try to run this again and real time crit real time critical uh, for default org and default stream is active let's make it slightly better alert name okay alert okay 
alert for this org and stream is active. Let's try this again. So yes, real time critical alert for default org and default one stream is active. So you, you really want your alerts to be more uh, descriptive and you can do a lot more when you are creating your uh, template. So the, uh, we'll cover uh, best practices around templating in a separate uh, uh, video, but I'll stop here for now. Thank you folks.